Let's talk passive income and how I took $100 and grew it to over $6,000, doing very, very little. I wanna break this down into two parts. First, just the general idea, the general theory of things, but I mean, theory is kind of boring, right? That's what you learn about in school. The, the, the good meat and potatoes of things is the reality of the, the situation, the, the practical implications. Taking things off you know, the textbook pages and putting it into motion in the real world and I'm gonna show you, like I said, exactly how that all played out. But let's just first talk about passive income and how you create a source of passive income. Passive income, generally speaking, is an object that exists out there and this object is going to be creating more and more money with you doing very little. There's a misconception out there where a lot of people say or think, well, passive income means you don't do anything at all. And that's true to an extent, but to actually create this passive income, this source, you do need to take some action and you do need to do some things up front. And then there's some other different strategies and you know habits, we'll call them, that you can implement that is gonna cause this passive income source to grow larger and larger. So I think everybody can understand a fire, right? But let's think about what goes into a fire. Well, the first bit of a fire you need to have is what? Well, you need to have a piece of wood, right? Or in this situation, you need to actually do something in order to get that piece of wood, right? Whether it's go to a store and buy the wood, whether it's you go and, and get the ax, or if you're a wimp, you would get out the chainsaw, but I think most of uh, you know my viewers, they probably get out there with the ax and just start hacking stuff down. But you need to go out there and, well, like I said, do something. That you don't just sit there and talk, oh, we should have a fire, oh, how nice would a fire be, oh, we'll do the fire soon, we'll do, no, you do it. You eliminate the word soon and you actually do something. You go out there and get the wood. Or in this analogy, the first thing that you need to do is in more, most cases than not, it, it takes some money to make money. So you have to go out there and actually save, right? You need to save some money so that you can actually get something jump started. Save money, do something, get yourself a piece of wood. In this situation that you're gonna see, my piece of wood was $100. If you don't think you can get out there and save up $100, then I'm gonna challenge you to alternate, to reassess how you're viewing the world, how you're viewing yourself, because $100 is not that much money. Now, when you're like five, like my kids, oh my, $100 is mind blowing, but $100, you can do it, especially if you have the right attitude. But that is the first thing you have to do, is you just have to get yourself some wood, you have to get out there and do something. Now, sure, you have this piece of wood, but what actually are you gonna, what does this wood have anything to do with? What is the actual tool that you're gonna use to start the fire in the first place? Well, this is where the next part comes into play. And this would be what? You need a match, right? We need to be able to get this fire going. So how are we gonna get this $100 going? How are we gonna get this fire booming? Well, that's where we're gonna use the stock market. Now, and you could, there's lots of other things. You, you could use the real estate market. You could use some sort of side hustle. You could use drop shipping. You could use a bunch of diff different things, but what is the match that's gonna get this fire going? In our case, we're using the stock market. Now, if you're new and not sure, okay, yeah, I've heard of the stock market, but how does that even work? Well, I have lots of other videos. I'll link one below, but you need to get access to the stock market. So in this situation, you know, taking theory to reality, I was using M1 Finance. So they are what we would call a stock, you know, an online sto stock brokerage, an, an app, and they just allow you to get access to the stock market. So the next step, all right, we have our wood, $100. We have our match, the stock, or we have our match to the stock market, and we're gonna use M1 Finance to get into the stock market. Now here's the cool thing about how all this works, is we have another choice. So this is, to be fair, this is just you know a choice on your part, meaning it's not required. But I would highly recommend that you do it because it's it's just kind of like well dumping gasoline on that fire. 
All right? Now, hopefully you never dumped gasoline on a fire. I mean, I never have. I'm sure the camera guy never has. That'd be very dangerous. It's just don't dump any gasoline on the fire. Or maybe you have, or let's, you've seen it in a movie, right? What happens when you dump gasoline on the fire? Well, kaboom, it goes that much more. So this is another aspect of doing something, right? And like I said, do you actually have to do this to create a passive income source? You don't, but if you wanna add gasoline out of things, then yeah, as far as do something, this is what you would wanna do. Now, what I like about M1 Finance, and this isn't how it goes, but in this situation, what is that something you're doing? Well, you're just creating more money. Creating more money for what? Well, to put into the fire, hence the gasoline. Now, in this situation, what's nice about M1 Finance and what you know, I did here is whenever you get somebody to sign up, so you say, hey, this, this is great. You know, This would be known as affiliate marketing. Hey, sign up. If you're gonna do affiliate marketing, that's fine, but just make sure you actually believe in the product, believe in whatever you're telling other people because if not, that just gets way too sleazy. But what I did here was M1 Finance offers $10. So if you sign up through that link, not only does that person get $10, but you also get $10 too. So I was banking $10 into my account just by putting it out there, very passive. I mean, I have other videos, so just stick the link down below. And you know, over time, just whatever happens, happens. If nothing else happens, then that's fine too. But the idea here is that I was putting some gasoline on it through that affiliate link. Now there's other ways you could do this too. You could just go out there and, well, get a job, right? Maybe you already have a job. And from that job, take a portion of it. You know, let's just call it 10%. 10 to 15%, 15% actually. That number can vary, but if you make, just keep the math easy, if you make $100, you know, take $10, take 50 of that, and don't go, you know, spend it at the, uh, you know, the, wherever you wanna go and spend your money, but just take that and then put it into here. You know, dump that gasoline onto the fire itself. And it's crazy what can happen. In fact, it's really crazy when you stop and think about it that all I did, I'm gonna take you to my desktop here in a second to show you, all I did was start with a $100. And that $100 in a little over one year, just $100, because of these other, you know, uh, because of these other dynamics and habits that I was doing, that $100 is now worth over $6,000. And I haven't broken a sweat. I haven't really, honestly, even paid attention to it. And it's grown very, very nicely. So let's go to my desktop and I'll show you a little bit more about the details of you know the $100 to $6,000. Hey, welcome to my desktop here. What you're looking at is my M1 Finance account. And to start off, remember, you have a piece of wood, right? You have that $100 and that's great. You've decided to do something, you've decided to save that $100, but that $100 just sitting there, okay, okay, well, you need something more to do with it, right? So we need that match, and the match is the stock market, and the stock market I've gained access to through this brokerage, this app, they're one and the same of M1 Finance, and that's what we're looking at here. We are looking at how I've started to grow that $100 and you know just build the fire and let all this happen in a very passive income type of way. Because like I said previously, it's just the $100 that I put on my own. And then from there, uh, you know, the, the stock market itself has, has done the rest, along with me pouring some more gasoline on it, which I'll get to here in just a second. Now to offer up a little bit more context, and I have lots of other videos on what the stock market is, how the stock market works. But the stock market is, well, it's a market made up of stocks. So in this situation, what I've chosen to do is just put everything into Apple. Maybe you've heard of Apple as a company, maybe you've heard of this thing called an iPhone, but the stock market and the power that it allows, it allows you to you know, invest into the company of Apple. So that's what I've chosen to do with that original $100 and then all those additional you know, uh, payments that are made, you know, the, the gasoline as I, I produce income, uh, as I'll show here, are all going into that Apple stock itself. So that is how it's being done. I'm using the stock market and then that next layer, I'm using the, the stock of Apple by investing into the company of Apple. So to look over here at the chart, you can see that right here, when this all started, $100.18. And that was back on April 26th of 2018. 
Uh, so, you know, this has been, you know, over a year. Not, none of this happens fast, but it all happened while I was sleeping, while I was not paying attention to it, while I was doing nothing, hence the passive income, which makes this very, very powerful. But as time has gone on, you can see that amount has grown and grown and grown over the years. And as of right now, which is kind of funny, but the total value of everything is now 6,300. I am recording this portion of the overall video a couple of days later, so it's kind of crazy what just a couple of days made as far as the value. It's gone up, you know, over $200 more just in a couple of days. Uh, so I, I wish I could say that was planned, but yeah, this this part of the video just happened when I could fit into my schedule a, a couple of days later. But that means the portfolio has grown that much more. So there it is, the $100 into now a value of 6,300. Now the stock market fluctuates, fluctuates, stock prices go up and down. So that's gonna change. But the point here is that, you know, I have lit that piece of wood on fire and it is burning. And if I didn't do anything else, it would still, assuming you pick a good stock, right? That's a big part of it. You wanna, you wanna invest into a good company. Uh, but assuming you do invest into a good company, a quality company, then technically speaking, that $100, would just grow. You wouldn't need to add any more money to it. You wouldn't need to pour on any gasoline because you've lit in the, you've used the match of the stock market. You've put it on that piece of wood and started a fire and the fire is going to burn. The account's going to grow. But like a fire, if you want that fire to grow that much more, then let, let's pour some gasoline on it. So in this sense, again, totally passive for me because I have not, you know, put any of my money into it. I have not uh, gone out there and you know taken from a paycheck, for example, and putting it into play. But that's certainly something that you can choose to do, right? If you want to throw in gasoline, you can take a pay, you know, take an amount from your paycheck and put that in. But in this situation, and I want to direct your attention up here, and this is why I'm a big fan of M1 Finance. But they allow you to, you know, if you refer somebody, if you tell somebody about them, then they are going to, uh, you know, give you some money. So let's click on that, and you'll see that. Right here is how it all works. So, you know, right now, if somebody, you know, uses the link so that everybody's got a unique link, but if you if somebody signs up through that, they're gonna give that person $10 and you're gonna get $10. So, I mean, talk about a win-win situation. If the person signs up through your link, they get the quick $10, but you also get $10. So that's how that all works. And let's go back here, or let's see, where do I wanna go? Activity. So this will just show you kind of the gasoline in motion. So most recently, you can see I had some gasoline poured on because people, like I said, use that link. So the gasoline, I didn't do anything. Like I said, this was all occurring when I'm sleeping, when I'm doing other things, when I'm playing with my kids, when, you know, whatever, passive income. But I just had $10 added to my account, $10 added to my account, $10 added to my account, and $10 added to my account. So right there, I had $40 added on November 1st of 2019. And you can, you know, that's the nice thing about the tab. You just go through everything. And I mean, it just shows you that the bonuses that were made. But the idea here is this represents the gasoline. Sure, you start off with that $100 or whatever amount you want to start with. But if you add more money to it, whether that's through some sort of passive, you know, source such as affiliate marketing, or it's through a, a source, on, you know, from your, your actual day job, right? Your actual side hustle. Point being, if you keep adding money to the account, if you keep pouring gasoline on the fire, then that is what is allowing this to happen that much quicker. Like I said, that $100, if you don't add any more money to the account, is still going to grow, assuming, of course, you get a good quality company. But it's gonna still grow. But it's the question you have to ask yourself is, okay, how fast do you want it to grow? At what rate do you want it to grow? And the more gasoline, the more money you put into it, either directly or indirectly, in my case, like I said, indirectly, but the more money that gets put into the account, the more gasoline you pour onto the fire, you know, the quicker and quicker this sort of stuff is going to happen. But it, it is totally possible. You know, this is, uh, sure, you may learn about the stock market in a textbook, for example, and you and I get it. I went to school and college, and it's like, okay, yeah, it's a textbook. It's, it's a cool little graph. But this graph here is like a real-world graph. That is real-world money that started off, like I showed, at $100, and you know is now you know 99 right there so round up to 100 and it has since grown so this is not a textbook graph this is a real world graph this is the stuff i i wish they would teach more in school but that is how it works that is how i have taken that hundred dollars and through passive income turned it into a source of passive income i don't do anything for this other than talk about m1 finance every now and then 
and you know put that link in. I'll put a link down below if you want M1 Finance. If you want that $10, that's fine. But as you see here, full disclosure, that is an affiliate link. So that means I would also get $10. Uh, but th that's up to you if you don't want to use it that that's that's cool too but uh oh and i almost forgot why do i recommend m1 finance compared to a lot of the other brokers out there uh m1 finance they used to have an advantage of hey well we don't offer any any commissions but now all of a sudden especially as of the recording of this video within the past month uh the, lots of brokers have get, been going at it and now pretty much nobody offers commissions so zero dollar commissions is now pretty much the normal in the world of online brokerages, you know, these tools that are used to access the stock market. But the one thing that M1 Finance, at least at this point in time, this could always change too, but as of right now, what they have the ability to do is do partial shares, do fractional shares. So notice how right now I own 24.93368 shares of Apple. That right there is called the fractional shares, the partial shares. And M1 Finance, unlike, like I said, at the time of this video, uh, nobody else out there, they allow you to get those fractional shares. So that makes a big difference. Yeah, $0 commissions used to be a big deal, but now not a big deal. But the ability to actually be able to buy, uh, you know, shares of something, because if you only have $100, you know, you couldn't necessarily buy a stock. Normally, that's over $100. But in this situation, you can. You could buy a half share. You could buy a quarter share. But point being, you can get those fractional shares, and that's definitely an important part of it. But totally possible. Have a plan. Decide to pour gasoline on it, and you know what? You can take that hundred dollars up over to at this point in time, sixty-three hundred. Pretty crazy stuff, huh? Hundred dollars over six thousand, and depending on how Apple stock does, I mean that 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 could theoretically go to ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars. You know, the next forty years, up up over a hundred thousand dollars. It's just a matter of well, how well is Apple going to do? But regardless, pretty crazy. How just getting some wood, just getting that initial amount, deciding to do something, lighting that match using some sort of tool, the stock market in this case, and then just pouring gasoline on it, pouring gasoline on it, whether that's through some sort of affiliate or just taking a portion of your paycheck from your job or your side hustle or whatever you're doing, just pouring more on it, big things can happen. But at the end of the day, you gotta do something because none of this is possible. You can't start a passive income source if you don't just do something in the first place. So get out there and do something. This is not theory. This is not some sort of hypothetical thing that you're reading in a textbook. No, this stuff works and it works really well, but you gotta take that first step and do something. So get out there and do that. What are your some, I mean, do you have any side hustles? I'm curious, what, what are ways that maybe you're generating that you could create some more gasoline for yourself? Uh, maybe you've never even heard of the stock market before, but leave those in the comment sections below. Always uh, interesting to hear how people are approaching the whole do something philosophy. And then also, if you just enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Check out the rest of the channel. Lots of other videos on the, these topics, stock market and all, you know, just kind of general finance, but lots of different videos. So check that out and hopefully you decide to subscribe. But if anything, if you want me to keep making these, hit that like button, leave a comment below and I'll see you back in the next video. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.